What's up YouTube? I'm about to show you guys my new diet plan that I'm going to be sticking to for the next 7 to 10 days to keep on shredding. Okay, um, so I'm looking at an email that my coach sent me a while back. That's where I'm getting this diet from. I'm taking it from, man, my coach sent me this shit like May 9th, 2021. But he be, every time I just stick to his diet plans, like it always works. Um, I've been shredding off of just like, you know, I made my own diet plan up and it works when I do it too. But when I follow his, it just works 100% every single time I'm getting it. So the way he described his diet, he said, I'm making it more of a lifestyle plan right now. So it's easier for your body to stick to. And I can see how your metabolism is acting. And I don't want to overload you with so much food right now because we need to adjust the way your body is digesting the food. So there's a lot of method, you know, a lot of science and method to his madness. You know, like what stands out to me is he's like, I want to see how your metabolism is acting. So the way that you eat can like speed up your metabolism or slow it down. So I guess this plan was meant to speed my metabolism up, kind of see how my body reacts to the food. And he went on further to say, that's why I'm giving you five meals for this plan. Eventually we're going to switch it up so I can give you more meals during the day. But we just want to see how this makes your body react. So yeah, that's, that's what we're dealing with. All right, and last thing I'll say, he says, have your breakfast in the morning and then try to eat again every three hours. So that's how you want to do it. That's how you get your metabolism going when you like stick to a, uh, a time routine of when you eat. Like if you eat every two hours or three hours, your body gets used to eating at those times. It starts calling for food at those times and you get hella hungry. You can feel that you're, uh, you can just feel your metabolism kicking in. Shit gets, I don't know. You'll know when you do it. All right, so we're starting with breakfast. All we need is six egg whites. Yeah, we got this. turning the stoves on, man. We're gonna do this shit um, as quickly as possible. We're gonna multitask. So it says we need six egg whites, but I'm feeling like I can get away with at least one whole egg, you know? So we'll take a whole egg, okay? We can get away with at least one. So we got our whole egg, bam. Easy. And then I take a third cup. You get your, you get a third cup, and you put your uh, liquid egg whites in here. Every third cup is two egg whites. So if you do this, if you do it, that's two egg whites right there. Why is this leaking? That's four egg whites. We got a whole egg in there, so that's five egg whites so far. So we'll do a half, half of a third cup. That's six egg whites and one full yolk. So we're already cheating on the diet. We're putting yolk in there. <laughs> um, we get one slice of turkey bacon. Lately, I've been um, doing two. So this, we will actually stick to this and we'll do one for this plan. Boom. And then the uh, turkey bacon cooks pretty fast. So what I've been doing is throwing the spinach on the turkey bacon um, pan too, so it's all cooked together. You know, spinach cooks really good too. So now, it's like you got everything you need. All right, so eggs are already done. You know, I just scramble them. I really like to put cheese on my eggs, but just for the sake of you know, dieting, we won't put any, we won't put the sprinkled cheese on there. But man, cheese and eggs is always good. And then it also says a fourth cup of avocado. So, cut into that avocado. Cool. So this is our meal one, you know, it looks pretty basic, simple. You know, your typical breakfast, eggs, turkey, bacon. We got spinach and a fourth cup of avocado. It also said I could have mushrooms, but I don't have any mushrooms. But I do love mushrooms, so I should get some. Because, you know, it's best to just make your meals as enjoyable as possible. So you can just have no issue sticking to it. I always do this right here. I take a bite of the egg. And I try to, you know, I'll take a bite of the turkey bacon. And I try to make them last as long as each other. Like each bite, I like to take a bite of the other one. All right, you guys, we're getting ready for meal number two, which is a snack meal. If you remember, if, if you watched my last video, the grocery haul, 
I said this diet plan will be easy to follow because it's really like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then you have two snack meals. So this is gonna be one of the snack meals, which is a cup of a fruit of my choice. So we got a cup, you know, measuring cup, and I'm gonna do strawberries and I'll do bananas, man. I need to eat, <laughs> I need to eat the bananas because I bought too much and they're just kidding really brown, so I should do banana. <laughs> So we'll go boom. A fourth cup of almonds. Bam. That's it. That's meal number two. Strawberries, bananas, and a fourth cup of almonds. We gotta work into this chicken. Um, look, these are some big freaking chicken breasts. I'm telling you right now, if you try to cook them like this, it's not gonna be enjoyable for plenty of reasons. One, you're gonna be cooking it. It's gonna take hella long. And you're gonna think you're doing a good job. You're gonna come check on it. You'll be like, oh, this is good. But then the other side of it, or a piece of it isn't gonna be cooked fully. Like one piece is gonna cook fully, the other piece isn't gonna be fully cooked. So you're gonna wait for that other piece to fully cook. And then when it's all done, everything is gonna be fucking overcooked. I swear, it's like, it's either undercooked or it's overcooked. It's never perfect when it's these big ass chicken breasts. So what you gotta do is, Take the extra time, put some extra effort in, and you're gonna have to cut these shits in half. Actually, before we get into the uh, cutting to the chicken and stuff, we should get the rice ready because so it all times out, you know? All right, and we'll let that sit there for as long as it takes. And we'll cut into this chicken. Damn, these some big ass breasts, man. What do they put in these things? Holy shit. All right, so you want them to be like this thin right here. I just cut into one. Boom. I didn't even cut it in half. I cut it into thirds, you see? Because I'm telling you, they're way too thick. So, you know, I'm gonna put it down. And just cut right through it. Damn, so it's a lot thinner. That's perfect. She got this big ass thing right here. Come on now. Try try putting this shit on the grill. Look how thick it is right here. And then it's thinner in the middle and you know, it, it kind of thins out. So you can kind of tell it, it would definitely be hard to cook evenly. And when you're eating chicken, if you fuck your chicken up, trust me, it is not enjoyable. That dry chicken is a no-go. Remember I told you guys, I like to get the uh, chicken tenderloins because they're small and you know they cook easy. But the truth is, if you just don't mind putting in this little bit of extra work, cutting it and making it thin, it'll cook just as easy, taste just as good, and clearly you get a lot more, you know, for your money. So, um, I guess breast, big breasts are the way to go. Now that all of our chicken is nice and thin, we're gonna season it all. I'm gonna use this Montreal chicken seasoning. Oh, whoopsie. Whoa. Uh -oh. Other side. Excuse the mess, man. We're gonna clean it up, don't worry. <laughs> this is what people mean when they say they're having fun and having making art in the kitchen, you know, you just you splash that shit around like paint. <laughs> All right, you guys are gonna appreciate this much more than if it was those thick ass breasts. Trust me, this is, this is how you gotta do it. I'm adding a little bit of olive oil to each of these pans. Now the reason we got three pans is because, well, let me say this first. The one annoying thing that is annoying about cutting these chickens up is obviously, you know, you have so many slices, so you can't just, you know, you need more pans. It takes up more room. That's the only annoying thing about it. But I, I say it's worth it because it's just going to taste so much better. And I mean, you know, you don't have to cook it all at once, but shit, if you use one pan, you're going to have to cook like six batches. And chicken takes like 10, 15 minutes to cook each time. I mean, these are thin slices, so it might cook faster, but you get the idea. It, it can save you some time, man. Get, get you some extra pans. You see? Look at that shit. Took up two. You'd have to wait 10 minutes just so you can, you get what I'm saying?
chicken's done. Look at that, man. It's looking delicious. All right, we did a good job. And we got a lot of chicken, man. It's just gonna last like seven years. You see this shit? God damn. All right, the rice for some reason, is still cooking. So we're just gonna get the spinach ready real quick because that's my vegetable of choice. And bam, I'm just gonna throw it all in here. Put a cap on that. Let that shit shrink up. The chicken came out fantastic. Are you seeing this? So we need um six ounces of chicken. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna eyeball this right now. Mm. Need a smaller piece. That's looking like six. This meal is gonna come with a cup of greens. We made some spinach. It's probably like two cups, to be honest. One cup of rice. That's meal number three. And I know this shit looks mad simple, but yo, this is, this is how I like to eat, man. This to me is like 100% guaranteed results. You know, we can, once you, once you get the basics down I and mean, you know how to like, you know, you get your, your proteins, you got your carb sources, you kind of know how you want to eat. Then you can start like, you know, sauteing your vegetables and making that shit good and getting creative. I'm not there yet. I, I'm still in that simple simplicity zone where I'm like, yo, coach, tell me what to eat, bro. Like, how many, uh, okay, if I eat some chicken and I get some rice and I get the spinach on my plate, check, 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 I'm good to go. Check, 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 I'm good to go. That's kind of how I like it. Eventually, I'll be that guy where I can get these checks. But you know, I might have some sauteed carrots and some green bell peppers and some mushrooms and you know, we'll make it real sweet. But for now, this is what we're rocking. I'm just gonna uh, kick back and eat this meal. I'm gonna go to the gym here in a little bit, but I gotta show you the snack meal because I'm gonna get the snack meal in before I go to the gym. But I'm just gonna chill, watch some media for this fight week. You know, it's UFC uh, 273 coming up this, this weekend on Saturday. So there's been a lot of media going on. I like to watch, you know, fight interviews. I like to see this kind of stuff. I would be watching an anime if you guys, if you guys recommended me a good one. You know, drop me to, come on, you know, send me some animes, bro. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill, relax, and finish this, and I'll show you what's to come. All right, this is a snack meal, okay? It's gonna be a protein shake. So, it says I can have two scoops of protein, mix it with some unsweetened almond milk if you'd like, and that's exactly what we have right here. We get two scoops of protein. I'm rocking with the HD Muscle Chocolate Peanut Butter today. Heck yeah. One tablespoon of peanut butter. Gonna look something like that. That's a lot of ice, I don't know what Protein shake, two scoops of protein, some almond milk, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. And then it said I could have a red apple. This don't look like a red apple because I ain't got no damn apples, man. I know it really didn't matter anyway, but I did. I checked the nutrition facts on a grapefruit and an apple. I swear they literally have like the same macros. So the grapefruit was 52 calories, so was the red apple. They both had like 12 or 12.8 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. They're the same. They're the same fruit. Meal number four, snack meal, grapefruit, and we got our protein shake. And this is um, this is gonna be my meal before the gym because you wanna at least save one or two meals for after the gym. So that's what we're gonna do. shoulders but I did handstands before I'm getting pretty strong with my calisthenics man but that shit wore me out let's get to the uh, last meal don't think it's nothing exciting man. matter of fact don't think that it's nothing you haven't seen before matter of fact don't don't think it's not something you ain't seen before in this video Real talk, you guys, we're doing literally it's the exact same meal as uh, meal number three. Damn, I'm hungry. 
starving, man. Body is beat. All right, guys. This is my fifth and final meal. Um, I forgot to mention, before the gym, I didn't do this, but I was supposed to eat two rice cakes. That was also part of the plan. And then after the gym, I was supposed to eat a third cup of oats. Um, I didn't do that today. Shame on me. We'll get it right next time. But yeah, I think um, we definitely went over the main, most important things. You've seen chicken and rice and things like that. But yo, man, this is this is how I like to do it. It's just simple. It's like, like I said earlier, just checking things off the list. Check, check, check. I eat this. I shred. Deal. Let's do it. You know, sometimes you need it to be simple like that. Because I'll see sometimes people will have like... Their, their diet will be different. It'll be like, you know, they can have like lasagna or something or, you know, I'll see my mom cook things and she'll be trying to lose weight. She's doing good right now. But she'll make these fancy meals. and I'm like, you don't really know what goes all into it. You know, it just, it gets complicated sometimes because you have so much shit to look at and you're like, what is that? What is that? But you got the cheese, you got this oil, you got this fattening, you know, whatever. You put some butter in there. You put all these things and it gets hard to track. But when you have it something simple like this, it's just like, you know. And you can simply go on Google and be like, yo, how much, what's the macros for six ounces of chicken? What's the macros for a cup of rice, you know? So it's just easy to track and just do your best to make it taste good. Cook it as best as you can, you know? Get some, get some fancy vegetables. It ain't gotta be spinach all the time. Like I would like some more color right now. I wish I had some carrots and some, some mushrooms and some bell peppers and things like that. It would make it just that more, you know, that much better. But yeah. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Good luck in your journey, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.